Shabbat Shalom. This week we are in the fifth Aliyah of Parshat Behar, or on the mountain. And this is about what happens during the year of Yovel, or the Jubilee year. The year of Yovel is the year to sound the ram's horn in celebration. The ram's horn is the shofar. What does the year of Yovel, also called the year of Jubilee, celebrate? Every 50 years, the land returns to its owners, slaves are freed, and both the land and the people rest. Let's read Leviticus 25, 29 through 31. If a man sells a house inside a walled city, hmm, do you see which houses are inside the city walls? Then he may redeem it within a whole year after it has been sold. For a full year, which year? Yes, the year of Yovel or Jubilee. For a full year, he has the right of redemption. But if it is not redeemed within the year, then the house inside the walled city will belong permanently to the one who bought it. They will not be released in the Jubilee. But the houses of the villages that have no wall around them are to be considered to be an open country. They have redemption rights and are to be released in the Jubilee. What does redemption mean? Redemption, or to redeem, means to buy something back. For example, let's say you needed money to buy something, but you didn't have any money. So you sold your bicycle to get the money you needed. After that, you could redeem your bicycle or buy it back once you made some money. God set up a system where people could do this with their houses in the land. This helped poor people and it kept God's land within the tribes to whom he gave it. As it is on earth, so it is in heaven. Every physical law on earth has a spiritual law in heaven. So what does this teach us about Yeshua? In Luke 4, 16 through 21, Yeshua proclaimed the year of Jubilee. He goes into the synagogue on Shabbat as he did every Shabbat, and he got up to read. He unrolled the scroll of Isaiah and read from Isaiah 61 too. He said, the Ruach Adonai is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free the oppressed and proclaim the year of Adonai's favor. Then he stopped right in the middle of that verse, rolled up the scroll and sat down. Everyone was looking at him and he said, Today, the scripture has been fulfilled in your ears. Wow, what is he talking about? There's a clue in another place in Isaiah. Let's read Isaiah 49, 8. Thus says Adonai, in a time of favor, I will answer you. The year of Yovel or year of Jubilee is the time of Adonai's favor. And then it says, in a day of salvation, I will help you. Well, we know salvation is Yeshua. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people to restore the land. And in verse 9, to release the prisoners and to give light to those in darkness. Yeshua is talking about himself. As it is on earth, so it is in heaven. The redemption of land from debtors is like the redemption of people from sin. And, and why did he stop in the middle of that verse? The second part of Isaiah 61 2 says, and the day of God's vengeance, the whole verse to proclaim the year of Adonai's favor and the day of God's vengeance speaks of two things, one positive and one negative, favor and vengeance. But these two things are parallel. They are connected. Think about it. The day of Adonai's favor for his people in Egypt was a day of vengeance on the Pharaoh. 
the day of Adonai's favor for his people at the Red Sea was a day of vengeance for the Egyptian armies. Yeshua stopped in the middle of that verse and proclaimed himself to be the fulfillment of the year of Adonai's favor. He is giving his listeners the chance to respond, to believe in him, to be redeemed by him. If they accept him, they will receive Adonai's favor. If they do not, the rest of the verse hangs unspoken in the air, the day of God's vengeance. John 3 verses 17 through 18 states it clearly. God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The one who believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe in him is condemned already because he has not put his trust in the name of the one and only Ben Elohim. Will you put your trust in him today? Ask him to redeem you from your sin? Follow him into the year of Adonai's favor? Shabbat Shalom.